Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for an airline in the United States of America. And today I'm starting a three day trip, but Brazil is playing in the World Cup today against Croatia at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I am here, gonna come watch it at this cafe bakery place and really excited. It's called, I think, Bakery 2000 here in like Boca in Florida. So I'm excited, gonna watch it. I am all in my Brazil attire and so hopefully they win. Um, I am definitely rooting for Brazil or Portugal at this point because they are the one, two of the last eight playing in the World Cup. I'm very excited for the World Cup this year, of course, as you all sh as we all should be. Um, but yeah, gonna go do that. Hopefully they win. You know, I'm gonna say a prayer. Vamos Brasil, vamos bombada. Okay, I will talk to you guys after the game. Ugh. All right, in my car, such a good game, but unfortunately, Brazil did not win. So, eu estou muito triste. Eu queria que a gente ganhasse tanto, tanto, mas nós perdemos. Então, hoje é um dia triste, mas acontece, isso acontece. So, basically, I'm just I'm really sad. I really wanted Brazil to win. Oh, it was such a close game. It went to penalties. And then Brazil made basically, Croatia made all the penalties and Brazil did not make all of them. So I, I think it was once Brazil missed the fourth penalty, we lost. Which they made, I think, two other ones and then Croatia had all four. So anyway, pretty sad. Pretty sad. Every, people were crying. There were tears. This was, it was kind of sad. But anyway, like I said, uh, I got some, I got some goodies. So let me show you. All right. Got any budging? Of course. I'm going to have a coxinha because I'm going to make the most out of you know, just celebrating Brazil, although they lost. So, gonna go ahead and have this one. Mm. All right. It was worth coming here to watch the game, just to have this, because it's so good. But I'm still really sad. All right, I will see you guys a little bit later. Mm. All right, everybody, officially at the airport. I have a three-day trip starting today. My sign-in is in about 20 minutes. I'm going to Guatemala, just one leg and done today. And then tomorrow we'll be going to DC and then back to Miami. So I will see you guys at the airport. Let's get this show on the road. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am on the plane. Just saw the results from the Argentina game, Argentina won. Congratulations to Argentina. I'm not gonna be a sore loser here, but I'm still really sad that we're still lost. So anyway, um, let's get this show on the road and let's go to Guatemala. I am position number three and we pretty much are all ready to go. So I will see you guys when we get there. Good morning, everyone. So as you just saw, I went and got my hair done and my nails done in Guatemala City. I went to this place called Floy's Salon de Beleza and it was absolutely spectacular. The service was phenomenal. The prices were unbelievable and it was just a great experience overall. Um, right now, Portugal versus Morocco is playing for the World Cup and I was kind of watching it as I was getting my hair done. Unfortunately, as soon as I left, Morocco scored. So it's halftime currently. Um, and that's why I figured I would shoot this video. But I am obsessed with my hair. I love it. I basically just got highlights. And she washed it. She dried it. She brushed it. She took her time. And then the one of the ladies did my nails for me. I just got basically like a little French tip. Um, and it was adorable. So I'm absolutely in love with it. It's simple. I have a wedding this weekend. So... I just wanted to get my roots done and my nails done and all for everything it cost one hundred dollars so that's it was like 850 guatemalan currency which came out to about a hundred dollars us 
and I ended up tipping them each $10, so I ended up paying about $120 for everything. So extremely reasonable prices. If I was gonna do this in the US, I know alone my nails are cost at least $50. And my highlights in your hair is close to $300. So insane. But anyway, if you guys are in Guatemala City, definitely check out Floyd's. I will leave them in the description box below. Love them, great service, have only good things to say, and I will be leaving them a great review on Yelp and Google because they were just 10 out of 10. Also, Dream Pairs sent me two new pairs of shoes and they're both boots. I got a white pair and then a gray pair. That's why I was showing you while I was walking a lot. So these are the gray pairs. I didn't bring the other ones because I wasn't gonna wear them on my layover, but I put these on as soon as I woke up this morning. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning-ish here, and I have been wearing them since 6.30, and I absolutely love them. They're super comfortable. Um, they're not tight at all. I wear a size five shoe, five and a half shoe, so these are size five and a half, and I absolutely love them. They're the perfect heel. It's not too big, not too small. It's just, it's great. Really love it, and yeah, they're comfortable. I don't have any gray shoes, so I figured these would be perfect. So my code for 20% off is 20 Jessica. Um, I will leave them in the description box below as well with my code in case you guys forget. So please go check them out. Get yourself some shoes, save some money, and maybe buy them as a Christmas present. Who knows? I mean, I love shoes, so I'm sure the next person will love shoes as well. Um, okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna run downstairs and go to the bar to watch the rest of this game. Força Portugal. I am rooting for Portugal. As you guys know, I am Portuguese. So, you know, now that Brazil is out of the World Cup, I am definitely rooting for Portugal to win this. Um, if Brazil was still in the World Cup, I would be pretty indecisive about the whole situation. But um, still very sad that Brazil's out. But let's go, Portugal. Let's get We got this. We're going to win. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I will see you guys later. ready to go for our flight today. Our pickup is in about 10 minutes. We have two legs today going from Guatemala to Miami and then from Miami to DCA. So unfortunately we have like a bit of a long sit when we do get to Miami, but other than that, no complaints here. It is gonna be an easy two leg day. So I will see you guys at the airport. All right, everyone, I'm officially at my hotel. Super tired. Our flight was delayed for about an hour due to we had an electrical system error issue, something happened. So anyway, long story short, we were delayed, but here we are, we're in Washington DC now. Our layover went from 12 hours to 11 hours. So I am going to hit the hay, like right now. And I will talk to you in the morning. My it's just not it right now. It's not it. All right. Good night for now, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is a gloomy, gloomy day here in Washington, D.C. Woke up this morning, opened the curtain, and was like, hmm, not, not a pleasant, bright day. But that's okay. Anyway, we have two likes today, a long sit in Chicago. So nothing that exciting happening today. Going from DC to Chicago right now, and then that three hour sit, and then Chicago to Miami. So two legs, long day. Sign in was 11 in the morning, and we're not getting back until 9.30 p.m. So I am ready to go home, because it's go home day, so let's go. 
All right, everybody, this is Carlos. Hey, what's so, up, guys? What is up? We are here in Chicago admiring the beautiful say cheese with this pretty Christmas decorations. Love Christmas. Happy holidays. Thanks Happy I holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> All right, guys. We are here, we have a three hour stay here in Chicago and I am not looking forward to it. And that's it, that's all for now. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm officially back on the airplane and this three hour set has been quite eventful. I walked about a mile. Uh, we lost a crew member, literally lost her. She called out sick, so we no longer have one of the flight attendants. So now we are getting a new flight attendant because we have only three of us. And also, what else happened? Oh, our flight got delayed by 45 minutes. So we'll see what happens now. <laughs> this has been a very interesting three hours in here, but I am on the 737 and I am ready to go home because it's our last leg. Um, when flights get delayed at the very end, it's always the worst because you're just ready to go home, which is what I am right now, ready to go home. So I will let you guys know what happens, but hopefully I see you in Miami. Alright everyone, sorry that I am looking like a hot mess, but I am clean, showered, I am home, and I am ready to go to sleep. That was an easy three day, a lot of delays unfortunately, but I am home now, so I'm happy. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, I appreciate all your support, and I will see you in the next one. Beijing ciao ciao!